Good morning, are you out there? This is Mark with Lead You Over. I'm gonna play some Kingdom Rush. So last night, Pollux the Wise and I did a little collab live stream of Minecraft. And for the first like 15 minutes, Pollux didn't have his audio on, so he's the one live streaming. So it's just me just talking by myself to like nobody, but he and I are like doing Minecraft together. And then I recorded everything on my side to like, you know, edit down some highlights and stuff from our two hour game session, but I didn't have any of his audio. So again, it's just me just nattering on, like answering questions, asking questions, and there's no other side of the conversation. But you can see Pollux all running around there, you know, doing stuff. He's teaching me because I don't know anything about Minecraft. He's pretty good at it. But um, at any rate, I, you could probably catch some of that stream. I'm sure Pollux captured some and has it on his channel if you want to see any of that, if you're into, into Minecraft. Because I'm, like, hopeless at Minecraft right now. Like, I literally was, like learning how to like feed my character to regain health and just the most basic stuff um but it, it's a great game and uh we're uh, yeah it, it's cool we found a village we're, we're making our first little house out of wood getting some iron ore iron armor gear like that so if you're into minecraft check it out check out pollux the wise he's the frog guy he's, he's like the giant frog from kingdom rush vengeance the, the leader of the, the frog people so at any rate, good news here is um, I defeated the Dark Descent campaign stage last time, giving me the final gold stars that I needed. Uh, yeah, and here we go. This is it. This is the final upgrade, and we're done. Shock and awe, shock and awe. Uh, artillery towers have a chance of stunning their targets on every attack. And we're going to take it. Boom, finished. And then down here in the hero room, a couple of exciting things. Grawl... Is still level 9? How is that possible? How is Grawl 9? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, more exciting than the fact that Grawl is this far from level 10 is that all these heroes have become unlocked. None of them start at tier 1, which is nice. It looks like they're all tier 5 or 6. So I'll be working on getting them up to level 10 here. I've never played with any of these heroes. First time I had Kingdom Rush Frontiers, when it originally came out, these were pay-to-unlock heroes. Now, I have the Steam version, so I get everything just for the one base cost, which is a great way to buy the game, by the way. Um, so I've never... I've seen other people play these characters, but I've never played them. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, and actually, I'll probably just leave Grawl where he's at at, at level 9. He's, he's close enough for now, but... Um, yeah, let's try Shatra. Shatra is the next... The next being on the list. I don't know if Shatra's a guy or a girl, but let's just let's see here. Let's select. Whoa, I'm not even gonna try and do that voice. I think they used the synthesizer. He's saying like Edith Nore. Edith Nore. Yeah. Let me I gotta, I gotta try again. Hold on. Ashbite. Edith Nore. Yeah, Edith Nore. I don't know what that means. Something cool. Um so at any rate, level six. Sky Hunter, 320 health, which is kind of low for level 6, right? Low armor, 16 to 24 damage on melee, average speed, and then we have the Energy Glaive, the purif Purification Protocol, Abduction, nice. <laughs> Vibro Blades, and of course, Final Countdown. It's the Final Countdown! Da -da. I can't do any more, they'll demonetize my videos, and I won't make my... No money this month on YouTube. I don't make any money on YouTube. I don't think any of us do, actually. So, um, It is my ever-present hope, though, to someday sell grooming and hygiene products to other men on YouTube. And be like, hey, guys, buy bar soap. Use bar soap to wash your body. It's, yeah. And then give me money. Give me money for telling men to, like, groom themselves. That's... That's really the only goal I've ever had in this entire thing. Ever since I was a little boy, I was just like, you know, what do I want to do for a living? I'm like, I want to sell beard trimmers and bar soap to adult men on YouTube. That's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I get I get fed so much of that because, like, I'm a dude. And, and then you just see all these guys in their videos just being like, eh, buy bar soap. And you're just like, wow. Wow. You just get a you just get a normal job, just like at a desk or an electrician or something. Just get a real paycheck. You don't gotta hawk bar soap to people for a living. 
Because that sucks. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, I got 16 skill coins. TM, skill coins. I invented it. Um, e energy glaive. Throws a glaive that deals 22 damage and has a 30% chance to strike an additional target. That's kind of cool. Like a little ricochet, like... I'm guessing. Um, purification protocol. <laughs> loud. It's loud for me. I don't know. It might be too quiet for you guys. Hold on. I'm adjusting the sound. All right. Full window. Whenever I do that, it, it closes down the game. Okay. Um, purification protocol. Summons a drone that shoots overheated plasma, dealing 80 damage over one second, as opposed to underheated cold plasma. You know, the other kind of plasma. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, in, in over one second... 80 damage over one second, it just means it just deals 80 damage once. Not... Yeah. Presumably that, that number will go up. Presumably. Okay, um, abduction. Call its mothership to abduct one specimen with 250 life or less. So, Shatra here is an alien. Which wasn't initially clear to me. His, his forehead looks a lot like Grawl's forehead. So I was thinking, hey, it could be a stone giant. It's not. It's an alien. It just has kind of grayish skin. Um, Vibroblades uh, increases Shatra's base attack damage by 5 and makes his attacks bypass armor. Uh, yeah. Probably going to take some of that. Um, in final, the final countdown. Do you have to say it? Uh, whenever Shatra reaches 0 life, he explodes dealing 100 area damage. Oh my gosh, like the Predator. See, I need to make a video that is just all of the callbacks and references to all the other movies and material that the Kingdom Rush draws from. Because I know a lot of you young folks that watch, kids out there, not that this channel's aimed at children, because it's not. It's aimed at adult men like me who play children's games. Um, you guys probably don't get like the Predator reference necessarily. Right, because hopefully your parents aren't letting you watch Arnold Schwarzenegger's 1986 Predator movie, which is a great movie. But the alien explodes. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, I want these vibroblades, though. That looks awesome. Boom. Okay, and then another five points for a total of ten, and another five points for a total of fifteen. Yeah, let's just go all in. This is going to mean he just he just hits hard, kills fast. Um, summons a drone? That sounds cool. I kind of like that. Um, yeah, and then a drone that shoots an overheated plasma dealing 160 damage over two seconds. Oh, geez. They're also good. Then the energy glaive as well. I'm not worried about the final countdown. I'm not planning on letting him die all the time. So let's pump up this purification protocol to the final stage. Uh, there we go. Three pips in there will get us 240 over three seconds. So that's that's a chunk of damage. It really would melt the dude down. Um that's the good thing about overheated plasma, is it's hot. Um, and then finally we've got, how about energy glaive? Boom, the boom, and the final pip into energy glaive. So we're sitting at, deals 35 damage and has a 50% chance to strike an additional target. What, that's it? Oh, throws a glaive that deals 35 damage, which is not a lot. It only has a 50% chance to strike an additional target? That's... It doesn't seem like it's that good. Like, I mean, maybe it then has another 50% chance, but then that would really be like a 25% chance, and like a 12 and a half. Like, maybe it can, like, actually continue going, but the, it decreasing odds. If that was, like, 60 damage, 75 damage, I'd be like, yeah, that's pretty good. 35. That's like one Vibroblade punch -a -rooney. Yeah. Okay. Done. So the real question is, what do we go tackle now? I don't know. Is this thing on? Yeah. Sorry. This is gold, what we're doing here. It's golden. Um, I've got a lot of the iron and heroics done up to this point. Um, it's already pretty long. I'm already nine minutes into the video. I haven't played the game yet because I'm just talking. I'm just amusing myself, chatting. Uh, yeah, let's jump back into uh, Barisad's lair. Iron? Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Uh, rules. Upgrade level 5. Hero? Yes. 
No arch towers, no mage towers. Whoa, Ooh, that's going to be tricky. Just artillery in barracks. What the what? Veteran mode to battle. Um, let's hope there's no flying enemies in this, right? That would oh crud, there's flying enemies immediately. Seriously? Oh. Seriously? Okay, um <laughs> Saurian Brood Guards Razor Wings. Saurian Brood Razor Wing Blaze Fang Brood Guard Darter. Razor Wing Blaze Fang Brood Guard Darter. Razor Wing Okay. I've never I mean, I probably played this back when it first came out, but on, like, casual or, or normal mode. I am not prepared for this. I, I really don't know what to do. Um, okay, so... i got two goals to defend. And then I might actually... Ha I'm going to have some actual tough guys-ish coming from this top one here. What's the difference? Razorwing, Blazefang, Broodguard, Darter... Brood. The brood is the, the only thing different there. Okay. So, neither the assassins nor the templars have a ranged attack. Right? Assassins can't throw, can't throw their daggers, I don't think. The dwarf can't hit anything flying. The mecha can. I, in case you've ever noticed, I don't use mecha. Because I think they're over engineered personally not a fan of gnomes i like dwarves and dwarves don't make clockwork robotic stuff in my humble opinion just saying it like it is kids it's just the hard truths ah all right yeah let's do it we, we need mecha we need lots of mecha mecha zords i invented that um, we got a lot of money. Holy crud. We got so much money. Um, yeah. We're just, we we got to go all in. We got to get these mecha. Battle mecha online. Battle mecha online. Battle mecha. Yeah, sorry. I won't keep doing it every time they say that, but it's still cool. It's really fun cool to say that. Okay. Um, sure. And then what do we got here? Um, Gosh, I, I'm sure some of these guys are going to slip through if we're not careful. So honestly, I do want to just do a quick backstop guy here. I mean, I'm not trying to be like all chickening out, but I'm afraid some of these dudes might slip by. Darters, brood guard. Darters can't turn invisible though, right? Blaze fangs, razor wings, brood guards, darters. No, the darters run fast. Blaze Fangs shoot the little thing. Razor Wings fly. Brood Guards. Okay, maybe I didn't need to do that. Oof. I'm move him up. I'm trying to think, who are the guys that like turn into turn invisible and sneak past? Whatever. We'll figure it out another time. Let's keep going here. Um, okay, move the face box. Oh, yeah. Sorry, this is all right. Sorry, you guys don't mind. You don't mind this chaos. This absurdly poor amateurish effort at making a video. Fine. Okay. Um, I got plenty of money left, so... Question is, would Templars be better or Assassins be better? I think Assassin. I don't know what he's saying. Asamoleka? Is that like Latin or something? I don't know. I've never understood a word these guys say. Proves dodge chance. Attacks have a chance to become sneak attacks. Yeesh. Yeah, we'll, we'll pump some stuff into there eventually, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. And then the final thing in here, the waste disposal, yes, but the wasp missile, that's what we need, right? Because that really targets flying things. So I'll need to save for the wasp missile here. Let's get going here. Let's summon the first wave. If you're still watching this, I appreciate it. I don't know why you'd still be watching. We're 15 minutes into the video, and we're just starting the game. What are you going to do? Just drinking lukewarm coffee? Hmm. Oh, it's so lukewarm. It's been sitting in that cup for like an hour. It's still good. I'll still drink it. Fine. I don't mind. Hey boy. Hey boy. Ooh, mama. 
think I need some more freaking wasp missiles here. I definitely need more wasp missiles. Give me some more wasp missiles here, folks. Come on. Well, you do not get much coin for these things. There we go. There we go. Okay, so the good news is these enemies aren't coming out of all of the um, entry points at the same time. So I didn't know how that would go, but that, that definitely helps us out here. I've got my recurve bow with my reinforcements, so that obviously helps. Okay, here come the darters. Now, these are the guys that move faster the more damage they get, if I'm not mistaken. That's how that works. So a lot of darters coming. Oh, they teleport. The darters teleport. Dang, who am I thinking of that runs faster? I can't remember. These guys are little baby weenie teleporter guys, though. Little baby weenie teleporter weenies. Little babies. Um, fires double the missiles and shot. So we need more wasp missiles, if I had a guess. And then I think we also are going to need a horrific rain of fire here to incinerate our enemies. For yeah. These are the brood guards. Taking them out pretty well. Let's get some more wasp missiles going, though, right? And then even more wasp missiles. And this dang burst out here keeps freezing one or other of our towers. Um, hopefully, these reinforcements can get a couple of shots off on this freaking brute here. Freaking brute, am I right? Um, and then I'm gonna have to steer. Yeah. Let's micro this in a little bit here, because obviously, yeah, and actually let's get this guy in here, because they can't hit the tower as far as I'm aware, right? Oh Shite's about to get real here, folks. Really real. Um, and then can I get some oil slick? Will it help? Oh man, my boss is still down. Boss is still down here, folks. I'm going to stage these guys out as best as I can here. Just try and hold this guy up with overwhelming levels of dudes to have to kill. It's going to force him to kill so many guys. All right, it's working so far. We're gonna bring uh, Shatar back. Sh Shatra, Shatra, Shatrachar. Um, just in case. I don't want him to die again, though. Here we go. Looks like we stopped that one brute miraculously. I, I honestly can't believe we did it. I can't believe we did it. It's kind of cool we did, because I didn't know if that would work or not. Um, I'll tell you what I think we're gonna need, though, is potentially. Another mecha. More battle mecha folk. Shatra, Shar Shar there, Shar Shar Shar. We want him getting experience, um, slow going, not even halfway through level 6 yet. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. It's so hard to judge the volume level that I'm hearing versus what this thing's recording. I've got like a little sound meter that I kind of rely on. Okay, I've got a lot of flying dudes coming through here, which is fine. We can handle that. Come on, flying dudes. Um, missiles are maxed out on the wasp missile. Not going to get any more of those, unfortunately. And actually, let me bring these guys back just a touch. And then, yeah, let's go for that final battle mecha. Mech Warrior, build three mechas on anyone's stage. Mech Warrior, by the way, is a reference to the old Battletech game. Um, where it's a, a role-playing game where you got to design your mecha, but you could play as the pilot, and, you know, role-play that. And, and it was also like a strategy, like hexa hexagonal battle map uh, strategy game as well. So it was kind of cool. It's like a role-playing game and a combat strategy game on Mech Warrior. Battletech. Great game. It's probably still around. But yet another thing we could add to our, our references video. I could probably make like two reference videos for each game. There's so many references to the universe. Callbacks to just everything. Um, yeah, I'm just going to 
drop, drop, drop holy fire. Rain of fire on those guys. Do not like them in their, their stupid missile shoot. Stupid, stupid missile shoot. Let's get some more wasp missiles though. There we go. Maybe a little bit of oil. Maybe a little more oil. Just kind of hold these guys up as much as possible. Um, yeah, ooh, I just saw the uh, alien abduction thing pop off. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, let's get some more mechas going. We're just, uh, yeah. yeah, battle mecha. Here we go. Battle mecha online. Yes, please. Here it comes. Shite's about to get real. Shite is about to get real. I nearly have another ring of fire ready. Can I hold these guys up just a second longer? Come on, come on. Ooh, that was perfect timing. Holy cows. That worked out really, really well for me there. Um, super grateful. That, yeah, that was awesome. I think this might be it. I think we might win this. I'm really proud of myself because I had not pre-prepped. Honestly, I, I had no clue what was coming. Yes. I will take it. I got that gold star, which I don't need anymore. Just gold star. Alright, if you watched, thank you very much. Till next time.